Oh, hey folks. Uh, just get, just continuing the part about the headlight assembly. So we're about to take these off, and what you need is a 10 millimeter uh, socket. So we're just gonna take these off. So hopefully they got roots in the damn uh, radiator support. That's faster. I kind of wish I had a, a power ratchet hooked onto the air compressor. That'd be a lot faster. Are in a tight spot. You can't swing it. I'll put those there. And the bottom one off. Before taking this off completely, you have to unplug the, the, the bulbs from the socket. I mean, yeah, the plug and play operation. Okay, you got these off. Let's unplug these bulbs. The bulbs are still good, so I'm going to sell them as well. I'm going to keep them as a spare in case one new one's burned out. Or in case I didn't change my mind. Alright, it's the old LA assembly. So, pretty much these are really old and they leak. And that's why water goes in. That's why the filament, I mean, not the filament, the bulb explodes. Especially if you touch them. So I'm just going to place this right here. Now we're going to get to the other one. So I'm thinking about this hole might be for uh, the models with the, the seal beam halogen lights, like on a Chevy Cheyenne or the GMC Sierra SL. So that's probably where you pull plugging a socket at anyways, but I don't have to worry about that anymore since I have a uh, positive light. Huh. Okay, I see what the problem is. I see there's a couple bolts missing from up there. I don't understand that, so that's probably why it feels so loose. So I'm trying to think if I need new uh, bolts for them to hold it, or I just have to crisscross the pattern until I get new ones. So I think that's what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna crisscross it. That is why it's so friggin' loose, okay? It's good I changed this stuff out. Otherwise I had to spend money, you know, just to fix a, you know, silly things. Right there. It's better just to replace all of that for you know, I had to worry about that for the next maybe 20 or 30 years.
Good. All right, I'm just gonna put this in the junk pile. Okay, this one, let me show you. Uh, these are loose because the rivets are gone. And I'm thinking that's how they leak. Somewhere in the bottom. So. Because of the holes right on top here, right? Yeah, it was. The water, when it rains, so it leak right through? Uh, probably not, but I think what I'll do, probably seal them up. Maybe some type of fluid. Be some wet sweat. Alright, now we're going to get the new headlights. I got new bulbs for them. They're the Xeon, uh, Xeon lights. Uh, they're like assimilated type uh, HID. So they're blue co coated. Rob. But when you turn them on, they'll, they'll be bright white. You'll see. High beams, right? Yeah, yeah. Both high beams and low beams. Ah. The daytime red lights. Cool. Yeah, and then sometime next week on uh, one of the high TVs or insulation TVs, uh, I'm going to change out this CD head unit. And what I've done, I got the CD head unit from the Chrysler. And I got that uh, frame, looks like a retainer clip frame, fit for this truck that has clips on each side. And the wiring harness is hooked up. And all I had to do is wait on uh, you know, the speakers. I already got speakers for the front doors, and I just need them for the back doors, you know, from the kicker. And overhead speakers, I'll get them uh, probably in two weeks. And we'll be good to go from there. And then I'll go to Best Buy. You go, uh, you know, get the amp wire installed so I can hook up the, the amp and sub. Some kicker as well. Yeah, we don't want it all to be catty wampus like uh, the previous days. Okay, over here. Oh, it's supposed to be uh, it's a low beam. 